Elon Musk is suing OpenAI and its CEO, Sam Altman. Musk claims the artificial intelligence company is violating its own charter by putting profit ahead of benefiting humanity. Did you know that the term OpenAI has become a buzzword in recent years? It conjures up images of transparency, collaboration, and democratization of artificial intelligence. But is it all just a clever marketing ploy? In this video, we'll dive deep into the world of OpenAI, exploring its promises, challenges, and whether it truly lives up to the hype. When we discuss OpenAI, it brings up an image of a society in which everyone has access to the newest AI technology. Whether you're coding away in a lab, doing some deep research, or just a curious bystander, it's a term that makes you think of groundbreaking innovations and everyone getting a fair chance to play around with advanced tech. But really, how open is OpenAI? To understand the reality behind the marketing, we've got to dig into a few crucial things. How easy it is to get your hands on this tech, how clear they are about what's going on under the hood, and whether these so-called open technologies are really open to all. Let's start with accessibility. Sure, a lot of these OpenAI platforms claim they're open to everyone, but let's be real, the actual scene is quite different. Steep prices, the need for some serious computing power, and super complicated code can shut out pretty much everyone except the big players or the really tech-savvy folks. Next up, let's talk about transparency. Basically, the cornerstone of anything that calls itself open. Although some open AI projects are good about sharing their research and results, they often don't spill the beans on everything, especially the really high-tech stuff. This kind of secrecy makes you wonder what's being kept under wraps and why they're not sharing the full story. Plus, there's a bit of a contradiction with how these AI systems use proprietary tools and tech, which kind of clashes with the whole open vibe. Sure, they might toss out a basic version for the public, but the really slick tools? Those are often tucked away behind paywalls or wrapped up in special agreements that restrict how much everyone can actually use them. So what's the big deal for the AI community and use regular users? Well, there's often a mismatch between the big promises and what actually shows up at our door. It really shines a light on a marketing game that might not totally jive with the true spirit of open source. Mark Zuckerberg's stance on AI strategy. Mark Zuckerberg is all about an AI strategy that's big on teamwork, openness, and being upfront. He's really pushing for AI to be something everyone can get their hands on by making it open source, so that it's accessible and usable for all. When we say something's open source in the AI world, it basically means it's like an open book. Anyone can peek inside, tweak things, and share it around. It's all about giving folks the freedom to dig in, make improvements, and build on what's already there. Meta's AI model, a llama, compared to closed source AI models, so you've probably heard about Meta's Alama model. It's been making waves among developers lately. But here's the thing, even though they toss around the term open source, it's not exactly the full deal. While you can peek at some of the stuff inside, you can't see all the nitty gritty details like the weights and training data. And there are some pesky rules like licensing requirements that put a cap on how far big businesses can take it. The word on the street is that Meta's open source AI gig might not be as open as it seems. It's more of a marketing stunt, according to the critics. They're calling out Meta for keeping a tight grip on who can use Llama with all these licensing hoops to jump through, which goes against the whole idea of being open source. Plus, to top it off, El Llama only saw the light of day after someone leaked it out into the wild. But why do companies use the open label so liberally? What might they gain from this, and what does it mean for the future of AI development? Think about these questions as we dive deeper. And if you're finding this exploration eye-opening, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights. The Benefits of Open Source AI Models Open Source AI models are like the superheroes of the tech world. Not only do they promote transparency and prevent all the power from landing in just a few hands, but they also have the superpower to whip up safer and smarter systems. And here's the kicker. They bring together a bunch of brainy developers who can team up to make these models even better, sparking all kinds of cool ideas and speeding up progress like never before. All right, let's talk about crafting those fancy generative AI models. It's not a cheap gig. We're talking serious cash for all that compute power. And guess who's leading the pack? Yup, 
the big guns with the fattest wallets. They're the ones pumping out these closed models, keeping all the juicy details to themselves. It's like a high-stakes game, and the big players are calling the shots. So, here's the latest scoop in the ongoing battle between closed and open AI tech. Elon Musk threw down the gauntlet on OpenAI, the brains behind ChatGPT, claiming they went from being all about sharing to basically being Microsoft's sidekick, thanks to Musk's own cash injections. He wasn't too happy about the majority of OpenAI's smarts being locked down by Microsoft forever. Musk decided to shake things up by releasing the model for his AI chatbot Grok to the public. Meanwhile, Meta's Llama model accidentally slipped out into the wild, much to everyone's surprise. It's all about self-interest in this game, with Meta trying to set itself apart from the pack by going open source. And hey, who knows? Maybe all these public tweaks and improvements will come back around to boost Meta's own AI services. Now the question arose, what are the commercial incentives for companies to move away from open source AI? The prospect of making banks off open source AI might make some companies think twice. Once these models get really good, there's a temptation to slap a price tag on them or charge for extra services, leading to a more closed-off approach. While some businesses might just see OpenAI as a fancy marketing trick, the die-hard open-source crew isn't backing down. They reckon there's still plenty of room for folks who want to tinker with AI without breaking the bank. So, don't worry, the open-source spirit isn't going anywhere. It's alive and kicking, ready for all the future AI adventures. OpenAI, rolling in with an annual revenue of $2 billion, hasn't exactly been sweating bullets over open source models. At least not yet. It just goes to show how important it is to have a slick product ready to roll and a team that knows how to sell it. Why does this matter, you ask? Well, it's not just about who's making the big bucks. It's about who gets to benefit from all this AI wizardry. Will it be available to the masses or just locked up by a lucky few? This decision is a big deal, shaping the future of AI and its impact on both everyday folks and businesses alike. Truly open AI initiatives thrive on community input and collaboration. However, if significant portions of technology remain closed, the community can only contribute so much, limiting innovation and the potential for diverse applications. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think open AI is just a marketing term, or does it represent a real movement towards democratizing AI? Drop your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed our deep dive today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content.